Chrome Hearts Real vs. Fake Paper Chain Bracelet. Stay tuned. So welcome back to a new installment of Real vs. Fake. I know it's been a while, but I'm happy to be back. So if any of you out there are looking into the secondary market for a paper chain bracelet, hopefully this will help So before you. we get into this, a little reminder, if you can, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below your thoughts on the subject. Also with that, more videos are coming soon. I'm getting back into this and this starts today. Not only that, a reminder of these videos is that this is a real versus fake video. This is just a tool on how to spot fakes and how not to get scammed. Now, if you like wearing fakes, do you do whatever? And that's pretty much what I'm gonna go over, the telltale signs on how not to be scammed while shopping secondary. In my case, these videos mostly go off of what you can see in pictures. So let's get into this straight off and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Now some definitive things to check for in online photos are gonna be the dust bag itself. Now the most common fake dust bag that I do see that comes with a lot of the jewelry is going to be this one right here. This is the Chrome Hearts horseshoe logo and it's imprinted in some material that feels like maybe felt. What you're looking for is this dust bag right here and you can see the differences most definitely in picture side by side. I mean it's no brainer from suede to this kind of felt material. It's nowhere near at all the same. And that's why I bring it up because it's a big one that I look for when I do personal legit checks and also that I didn't even announce in the beginning of the video but I do personal legit checks five dollars via PayPal. Hit my DM at Freshman Fleet and we'll get it started. But this is why I stress it so much because once I see that it's pretty much downhill after that. Not only that but you might see a replica box but I'm not going to go over that too much and the big one is the actual actual shopping bag itself. As you can see, I have one right here. But now the reason I brought this one out is because for some reason on the fakes, the E is always tilted in a weird direction and I have no idea why that is, but it's a telltale for me seeing photos and seeing that it's a big one. So there are many more points within the bag itself just to tell what's real or what's not, but I'm going to leave it at that because that's a big one. And other than that, let's get into the paper chain bracelet now. Now, first off, as you know, the paper chain bracelet will be made out of silver, but this is where a lot of people who are unfamiliar with the item fall short. I will get into that more, but let's get into the locking class. So one thing you're going to really want to look for determining what is real versus what is not is going to be the locking class photos within the bracelet without it if they're too blurry or if they're too far back i mean i've seen it all i've seen so many scammers trying to do whatever they can to manipulate the photos just to sell an item so this is where the two parts going to come in so the first part what to focus on is the engravings and this is why i said the photos must be crisp clear and close and the reason why is because as you see this is ch 925 the h should line up with the 25 in a certain way as the photos show if they do not if it's off if it's spaced wrong this is a big telltale sign that it's a replica not only that but underneath that the 1999 should look somewhat like this i've seen so many fakes where the 1999 almost looks like a drawing and this is a replica version and as you can see that 1999 looks way off and the reason why i talk about the font itself is because i've actually seen considering this photo right here is actually unfinished or flawed as you can see missing the top portion so that's not always a dead stock case of that's a replica that's fake no you got to go off of everything else and this is where i'm going to get into the second part of the class this part has a 14 karat stamp on it now what does the 14k even mean and a lot of people understand what 14 karat gold is now where's the gold this is supposed to be an all silver item wrong first part is internally made of gold as well as where the folding clasp actually gets locked in and in these photos you can actually see the gold stemming out this is one thing that a lot of fakes just get completely wrong and as you can see on this fake bracelet it's actually all silver this is where the fakes fall short because the reel does have gold and silver within them and i do want to talk about that 14 karat stamped part because on fakes i have never seen them stamped but there are fakes getting better and better out there so this is one thing to look for one thing i've noticed on the fakes is that the material Material on the fakes compared to the real the real is going to be very thin and one piece and on the fakes it actually looks like two pieces that's been welded together and that's a big telltale it's also the thickness and even the feel of it it's just it's funny because a lot of the time the replicas actually feel sturdier than the real this is where i've gotten comments from people saying why is the fake more quality now the idea is not the quality itself because one is being made pumped out through a manufacturer from some type of machine chrome hearts is actually being made partially handmade 
made. And that's the idea about jewelers. If you understand what a jeweler does, it's all by hand. You're having a craftsman work. You're you're getting the small touches of something and that's what it is. Wow. One thing else is that the paper chain links themselves. What to look for? Well, as you can see on this fake, the engravings are not as defined, big, even clear. And on the real, it just looks everything. And that's one thing to point out that replicas are getting better and better out there and it's getting scary because unless you have them in hand, unless you see them in person, unless you know what you're looking for, it's almost impossible to tell at times. And some people, and some people are playing off of that using online web shops to scam people and that's the reality of it it's hard to say yes definitively this is what you need to look for this is what you need to watch out for because these are only like i said i always make these videos and i say these are tools in the arsenal to tell what's real and what's not and not to be scammed that's all it is so again do your homework do your research put in the time put in the effort and hopefully you'll come out on top that's the idea here i hope this helped anybody please do subscribe to the channel like i said i am back so more videos are coming soon also with that i do legit check Again, another reminder, $5 via PayPal. Hit my DM at Fresh from the Flea and we'll get it started. So I'm going to say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.